What? A new Rush beer? Let's check it out. Hey everybody, welcome back to another episode of Shane's Craft Beer Review. Man, am I excited about today's review. Uh, a little while ago, I did a review on a Rush beer called Rush Canadian Golden Ale. A uh, fantastic little beer made in conjunction with the band Rush and Henderson's Brewing. And today, just today, they just released another beer. So this is also with Henderson's and Rush. This is called Moving Pitchers, P-I-T-C-H-E-R-S. This is a limited edition release. Only 1,600 cases of this were made. Just got released this morning. And so, of course, I ran out and grabbed a couple of them. Uh, there wasn't a whole lot of them left. I know the store that I got these from only had 50 bottles. And I grabbed six and I left six. So they're going to be freaking gone. Um, for my American friends, I did read that they're going to distribute a limited amount of these down in the States. It didn't say where. Um, so maybe you guys can get to it. So I really want to pop into this beer right away. Uh, yeah, so this is a Belgian style extra strong pale ale with Pinot Noir must. All right. I don't think I've ever had a beer with Pinot Noir must in it. Uh, it rings in at a whopping 11.9% alcohol by volume. It's a bit of a banger. It's a bit of a banger. I can't wait to get into this, guys. So excited. Let's see what we've got here. Ah, oh, here we go. Beer. I love beer. Beer, beer, beer. I'm going for a beer. Oh, yeah, that's not my, my intro song anymore, is it? All right, here's what we got. Nice little golden color here, guys. Bit of a head on it, not too, too much. Going for a quick little nose here. Getting a very, very slight, like a smell of the alcohol in there, which is to be expected at 11.9%. Not too bad. All right. Let's get into this, guys. Can't wait. Cheers. Ooh. She bit strong. That is not bad. You can taste a bit of the alcohol in this one. It's not, it's not a big alcoholic punch to your face, but you can taste it. I'm also picking up... Um, I'm getting like a dryness and the flavor of the Pinot Noir is actually coming through in there. It's actually not too bad. Um, again, I've never had a beer that has, has had um, like Pinot Noir or any kind of wine in it. Um, yeah, it's not bad. Yeah, that Pinot Noir is giving it a, um, a nice little dry finish on the back end. And you're getting little hints of like... Uh, the grapes and almost like a plum, plummy kind of flavor, just just ever so slightly in there. Really smooth drink, goes down pretty easy. Like I said, you taste a little bit of that eleven point nine percent in there, but uh, good. This is a solid beer. Yeah, eleven point nine. Two of these, you're done for the night. That's all you need. So I think I want to rate this beer. And on a scale of one to five, I'm going to give this a 375. It is really, really good. Thoroughly enjoying it. Like I said, it's nice and strong. I can even still feel, feel a little bit of that alcohol burn still sitting in my chest, which I don't mind. I don't mind that at all. But yeah, if you guys get a chance, go out and get this like soon. Um, like I said, it's a limited edition. Only a couple stores are carrying. I actually had to go, I had to drive to the next town over. Um, because none of the LCBOs in my area had this. Um, so go look it up on the LCBO website. Find out which one by you has it. Grab a couple. Don't grab them all. Save some for you know other people. But uh, yeah, so the Rush Moving Pictures gets a big two thumbs up from me. Thank you guys for watching. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, and please share this video with all your beer and Rush loving friends. Thank you guys so much for watching. We'll see you next time.